Hello. Uh, in this video, uh, the objective of this video is to uh, talk about equivalent fraction. Okay. And uh, from equivalent fraction, that will lead us to do examples of adding fractions. Now, this is one topic where uh, students find the most difficulty. They are really scared of adding fractions. When uh, you ask them to add numbers, they are quite happy. But when it comes to adding fraction, it is it is it becomes very difficult. So I want to make it as simple as possible. So uh, let us first talk about equivalent fraction. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to split this in half. So show division. So this is this is one half, and this is the other half. So you've got two halves, make a whole. You can understand that. So I'm going to split this into quarters. Show division. I want to change this into quarters. So four quarters. So two halves. We can say half plus half. So let me write that. So from the figure, can you see uh, this is a half plus half is two halves. Okay, and two halves is equal to one. My writing is very poor. Sorry about it. Okay, now here you can see this pi, you can see this is, imagine this to be a pi. So this pi has been split into four quarters. So this is one quarter, this is a second quarter, third quarter, and the fourth quarter. So you've got four quarters, and uh, you can understand four quarters make a whole. Okay, that is a quarter plus quarter plus quarter plus quarter makes four quarters, and four quarters is a whole. Now, I hope you understand one quarter, uh, or say, we use a different color. Yeah, let us use green. So, two quarters makes what? Okay, so two quarters is equivalent to one half. Okay, so when a teacher tells you that two quarters make a half, this is what they mean. Okay, I'll show you graphically. So, if I move this, quarter and put it over this is one quarter and this is the other quarter okay okay so now suppose if you want to make it colorful so let us color this i'll go to property and i'll color this say in brown okay and uh, property i'll color this in say blue okay so, and let me go back. I'm going to place this. This is a quarter, and this is the other quarter. So, two quarters. So, one quarter, two quarters make a half. Okay. So, that is, uh, you can say, let us write that. How will you write that mathematically? So I can say quarter plus quarter. <coughs> Sorry. A quarter plus quarter is equal to two quarters. You can understand that very easily. My handwriting is atrocious. Sorry. So two quarters and two quarters is equal to half. Now what I want to emphasize here is when you're adding fraction, you can see this, the bottom number, which is called denominator, you don't add the denominator. One quarter and a quarter makes two quarters. So what you do basically do is you add only the top number, and you don't add, a, add the bottom number. So and half and a half makes two quarters. Sorry. Quarter, one quarter plus one quarter makes two quarters, and two quarters is equal to half. And that is what I have shown here. So two quarters 
make a half. So can you see this is one half and this is the other half? Okay. Let us uh, split this. Okay, so let me highlight this. Okay, so let us split this in, say, again, half. I'm going to split this into, say, um, sixes, okay. Six, okay. So now by looking at this, how many sixes, or how many one-sixth make a half? So very clearly you can see this is one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth makes a half. So let me, so let me move this. Let me oh, let me color this. So let me color with the same color. So property, uh, which would be good color. Oh, right. Property. Uh, to move this. Yeah. So let us color blue. Okay. So let me color. Let me color this again. Property blue. And again property and blue and uh, let me close this I'm going to move this so this is one sixth this is the second one sixth and this is the third one sixth so we can say that three one sixth makes one half so how will we, how will we write that so let us use a blue color here. So we can say one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth is equal to three sixth. So can you see what I've done? I've added the top numbers. I don't add the bottom numbers. And three sixth is same as a half. Okay, now if you don't want to draw this figure, if you only want to do it mathematically, so 3 sixth, how can you write this as a half? So what, if you don't want to draw these circles every time, so look at 3 sixth, which number goes in 3 and 6? Well, I know 3 goes in 3 and 3 goes in 6. So if you divide the top number with 3, you have to divide the bottom number with 3. Okay, so what is 3 divided by 3? So when you divide 3 by 3, you get 1, and when you divide 6 by 3, you get 1. Okay, so 3 sixths is same as 1 half. I'll continue this in my next video. Thank you very much.